Korea have the largest machine at Mac 2024, but who are they? So Javier, let's get under the covers of Korea. For anyone who doesn't know who you are, who are you? Well, we are a Spanish machine manufacturer specialized in large uh, machines. And uh, I would say that we produce large milling machines, but now we produce much more than that. We produce large machining centers able to mill, able to churn, able to bore, able to drill, and even completely automatized. And who is buying? Who are buying your machines? Well, basically uh, users uh, that need uh, to produce large parts of any kind, uh, aerospace, large parts, energy, large parts, automotive, large parts, railway, uh, other machine manufacturers um, of any kind, uh, civil engineering machines. So let's say everyone that needs to, to produce a very high accurate large part may need a machine like this. And what is your USP? Where do you stand out from the crowd? Well, I think we, how we approach to our customers is different. So we have like um, a platform of machines, but then we have a very large engineering department and we customize the solution to our uh, end users. So we, we are not just selling a machine, we are selling a, selling a, a complete solution involving everything, involving the, 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 the foundation of the machine, how this machine is going to be installed in our customer, uh, what is the level of expertise of our customers using machines because it involves a different kind of training. So we don't sell just a machine, so we sell a complete machining solution for them. And for me, a big headline for you as a company is that patented head hmm. on that table. Tell me more about this. Yeah, because the head is the heart of the machine, it's the most complicated part of the machine. Normally, if you have a machine without a head, just three axes, it's a very simple thing. But when you start adding heads, the head is the part which is giving all the flexibility to the machine to make all different kind of parts, to make complex parts. And for this reason, in Korea, we have started developing our own heads in the last uh, 50 years. And uh, obviously, it requires a really, really solid engineering team, not only from the mechanical point of view, mm -hmm. but also from the electrical, hydraulic, pneumatic, because the head inside has all possible systems you ever imagine for an engineer. So yeah, it's, it's the heart and it's the brain. So. You're doing very well at the moment, aren't you? Why is that? I mean, I think we, the strategy we started uh, 10 years back uh, now is giving us, you know, a really good fruits. Um, and uh, we expanded uh, our product range. Uh, we are covering more applications. Are also, we are expanding our presence in different markets. So let's say we minimize the risk now. We are selling in 25 countries. Um, wow. We are selling to more than 10 to 11 different sectors all, over, all around the world. So let's say now we are much more reliable. So when some application or some sector is in crisis, we cover with other, other, other markets and other applications. So now let's say our presence is stronger in the world. And by that, you're also investing in yourselves by expanding your own facility in Northern Spain. Yeah, now we are in a very um, critical moment because we are investing in our new uh, machining factory because we are our own customers, so we use Korea machines <laughs> to produce the frames of our new Korea machines. So it's a paradox, but it's very important. So we are investing in a completely dig digitalized new machining shop to machine our own machines. And not only to increase our capacity, but to create a showroom for our customers, trying to show them, okay, what is the, the top things you can do with our own machines? So you've gone for the Fox here at Mac. Why have you gone for this machine and this model? Yeah, well, two reasons. The first and most important reason is because this machine was sold to one of our uh, best British uh, customers. And this is, the, in fact, the second one they purchased from us. So, of course, we took the opportunity, this great opportunity, uh, to show this uh, in, in the Mac show. And also, second reason, as we discussed before, because we are trying to improve our presence in the markets. And, uh, well, you know, showing this massive machine, I think, should help us to improve our presence. Well, I guess you're showing a machine that is relevant to its marketplace. The amount of people that have been walking around staring at this machine going, wow, hmm. you know, it is the largest machine at Mac. Engineers don't get to see something like this. I mean, if you put your largest machine in here, it'd fill a hall. 
Yeah, right, right. That's right. In, in any exhibition, it's very easy to see small machining centers. It's very easy to see small lathes, small laser cutting machines. But it's so difficult to see this kind of massive machines. Obviously, because it's very expensive, and you know, uh, you need to to have a very strong team. Luckily to make this assembly in five days. So what does the future hold for DTS UK and Korea? Okay, so we expect a bright future for, for both the companies. Um, DTS is keep growing and uh, increasing and creating more jobs uh, to support our customers better and better. And we at Korea, we are so happy to sell more machines to the UK because honestly, British customers are always so good customers very, 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 very easy to work with them. And very high knowledge and very honest customers. Oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> thank you very much and good luck to you, Javier. Uh, thank you so much. Please.